In our last video, we explored how fetal aircraft could transport you from London to Paris, and how long it would take if a direct flight was possible. However, we also found out that this isn't yet possible. But how would the system plan a flight with a stop like discussed last time? And what flight time do we end up getting? We'll start with the same database of flight data as discussed last time. This time, we sort on all flights that either originate from London or have London as a stop. Then, we go over all the stops on that flight to find flights that depart within a set amount of time after the arrival time of the first leg flight. Within those flights, we choose the flight that has either Paris as the destination or Paris as a stop. Then, we return both flights combined as a possible trip option. This way, we enable multiple stop flights as this can also be used for trips with more than one stop. For this flight, we'd have a flight time between 2 and 3 hours, depending on the layover time and the route taken. 